Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the brand new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked palettes. There are three new palettes. Uh, I'm going to go through each one of them. I'm going to show you uh, a close-up of each palette. I'm going to do some swatches. We'll talk about which shades are new. We'll talk about which shades are re-promotes. And then uh, what I'm going to do is, I haven't done this yet, so I'm going to try and do some overhead shots of older palettes in comparison to these newer palettes and the ones that I think make sense. Why don't we go ahead and get started with these new palettes, just kind of talk about them a little bit. So these are $90 each. There are three palettes. There's the Jellyfish, the Leopard, and the Snake palette. And I just got these in PR, so a big thank you to Hourglass. But what they included in the box that they sent me is a little info card and it says that 5% of profits from the Unlocked collection are donated to the Non-Human Rights Project. And I'm sure you can Google that if you want more information. But I thought that was really cool. And uh, part of this collection is also a powder brush. So this powder brush is called the Travel Powder Brush Snake. It's travel sized, it's a rounded brush designed to be used for all over powder application or on the go touch ups. I just think this brush is so beautiful. I love the snake design around the handle. I think personally it's a little bit big for a travel brush, but it is shorter than the typical hourglass brushes. I am a big fan of hourglass uh, brushes. They are made out of synthetic hair and I think they're very, very effective. I do like them a lot. And then another thing that's part of this release is a duo of their Phantom uh, Volumizing Glossy Balm. It contains the two shades of Haze and Crave and I am not gonna open this up and use these because I do have quite a few in my collection because they sent them to me, um, and I'll use one of the ones that I kept. So I'm gonna save this for either a giveaway or I'm sure one of my girlfriends would love it. But anyway, that is what is part of the release. And sorry, I'm fanning myself because it is so hot here. <laughs> And I had the air conditioning running, but I turned it off because it's too loud, but I think I'm gonna have to turn it back on. Anyway, let's jump into these palettes. So I'm gonna start with the palette that I would say is the most uh, light, uh, pale skin friendly, and that would be the Jellyfish palette. So here is what the cover looks like. Isn't that so cool? And on the back of each palette, I should mention, there is a legend um, and letting you know what shade it is. So here is a close-up of the palette. And then I did some swatches going from left to right and then top to bottom. So the first shade we have is Diffuse Light, which is a finishing powder. Next we have Rose Fuchsia, which is a blush. That is a new shade. Next we have Opal Strobe Light, which is a strobe powder that is also new. And then we have Lunar Bronze, which is a bronzer that is new. Uh, we have Diffused Heat, which is a blush, and then Ethereal Light, which is a finishing powder. So we have three new shades in this palette, three re-promotes, um, I guess you could say. And I like the fact that this palette has a little bit of everything. It's got a couple of blushes, it's got a couple of finishing powders, a highlighter, and a bronzer. This is really lovely. I'm probably gonna use uh, the two, well, one of the finishing powders and then maybe the bronzer because I do think this is probably the palette that best suits my skin tone. Next we have the Leopard palette and here is a close-up of the pan. And again, from left to right, top to bottom, here are some swatches. We have Dim Light finishing powder, Celestial Strobe Light, which is a strobe powder, Mood Exposure, which is a blush, and then we have Iridescent Rose, which is a blush. And then we have Ethereal Flush, which is a new blush. And then we have Lustrous Bronze Light, which is a bronzer. Now in this palette, Ethereal Flush is the only new shade, which is this one right here. So it's a you know beautiful palette and Hourglass does have a lot of shades of all of their powders, so it probably is not that surprising that they have quite a few re-promotes in this one. But I would say this is like uh, medium skin tone friendly. So that's the Leopard palette. And then finally we have the Snake palette. And here is a close-up of the pan. And here are some swatches. So from left to right, top to bottom again, we have Radiant Light, which is a finishing powder. Next we have Coral Haze, which is a new blush. Infinite Strobe Light, which is a new strobe powder. 
Then we have Sunbeam, which is a new blush, Mystic Flush, which is a new blush, and Solar Bronze, which is a new bronzer. So this snake palette, if you're looking for just the most new <laughs> products, it would be the snake palette. It has five out of the six powders in here that are new. This is the only one in this palette that is a repromote, and that again is the Radiant Light Finishing Powder. This one I think is the most uh, medium to deeper skin tone friendly. By the looks of the swatches, they are absolutely gorgeous. I love this powder right here. That is not appropriate for my skin tone, but I just think it is so gorgeous. All right. So, um, what I want to do before I jump into the demo and what I'm going to do is try and put on as many of the new shades as possible, but I would like to just quickly compare some of the old palettes to some of the new palettes. You guys probably remember the Butterfly palette. This is one that came out uh, for spring, and this is the Lighting Edit Unlocked Butterfly palette. This I thought was the most light, pale skin tone friendly palette. And this one didn't actually have a bronzer and that was the one thing that I thought that this palette was missing. But this has ended up being the palette that I reach for the most because I am very pale. <laughs> so let's just take a look at this in comparison to the Jellyfish palette, which I would say is this season's palette for uh, pale light skin. So a lot of similarities here, except we have that uh, blush, the top center blush in the Jellyfish palette, which is number two, Rose Fusion blush, that's a new shade. And then this new Jellyfish palette has a bronzer. So um, I think this Jellyfish is a bit more versatile than the Butterfly palette. The Butterfly palette, like I said, when I look at it, the blushes look very similar. A lot of the finishing powders and the highlighters look very similar. So it's kind of like a very flat kind of palette where the Jellyfish palette I feel like has a lot more dimension and variation to it. And then next, I want to compare the Leopard palette to the Elephant palette. So here's the Elephant palette, and we'll do like an overhead of these two next to one another. I'm also gonna be throwing in, which I think kind of falls into this sort of mid-tone, skin tone category, which is the original Hourglass Ambient lighting edit unlocked palette. This is still, I think, probably my favorite Hourglass palette. It looks so desaturated next to all of these other palettes. And when I put it next to both the Elephant and the Leopard palette, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Um, but it's just so less bright <laughs> than the others. And I just, I love it. I love it. I think it's such a great palette. It's so universal. Anyway, just taking a look at the Elephant palette and the Leopard palette, I do think, you know, again, there's a lot of similarities, but it looks like they're adding this cooler tone blush um, into these palettes now. So I'm referring to the uh, upper right-hand corner of the Leopard palette. Uh, we don't see any tone like that in the Elephant palette. And the same thing happened in the Jellyfish palette with that new Rose Fusion blush. And then the rest of the palette looks very similar, I think, to the Elephant palette. And I do think this is probably going to be, shall we say, the, the best seller of the collection because this probably hits the most skin tones, if you will, because it's in the middle. So I think if you have a lighter to a deeper, you know, something kind of like in that range, you're probably gonna go for this palette. But I'm a little bit disappointed that there's only one new shade in this palette instead of, I would say at least three, I, I would say that that would make getting like a new palette worth it, especially because we all probably have <laughs> quite a few of these Hourglass palettes. Uh, but anyway, if this is your first time indulging in an Hourglass palette, this is a beautiful one and you'll probably want to pick this one up because again, it has like, I don't know, just it's perfect for like that mid range. And I think it's like probably the most universal um, out of the three. But yeah, I was kind of surprised that there was only one new shade. So. That's the Leopard palette in comparison to the Elephant palette and the original Unlocked palette. And then finally, I wanted to compare the Snake palette with the older Tiger palette. So this guy is what I'm referring to. So let's put these side by side. And these have um, like a similar kind of feel to them. They both have that kind of coppery shade that I really enjoy, but the, 
uh, Snake palette has much brighter blushes. I think you probably noticed that. Much punchier, brighter, uh, pinky blushes. And you may or may not like that. I really love this Tiger palette. I think it's very cool. And despite my very pale skin, I, I reached for the Tiger palette quite a bit. I just think it's really, really beautiful. I do think the one thing the Snake palette does have going for it is that it has five brand new shades, five out of the six. I think that is really incredible. And if you're a blush lover, like I am, I, I feel like you could probably use all three of these as blushes, like if you don't mind kind of a strong blush look, I think you can use these three, even if you have light skin. And then it's nice to see a deeper bronze in there. Uh, so yeah, so that is the Snake palette, really beautiful. So, hey guys, I'm actually finishing up my video, so I'm gonna be like sticking this footage in here, so apologies for <laughs> this awkward transition. But I forgot to mention the owl, I don't wanna say palette, but the owl cover. So there's three palettes, the leopard, the jellyfish, and the snake, like we just talked about. And then what you can do is customize, and you can actually put, like if there's one cover that you really like, you can put it onto a, a different palette, and they have the owl available to do that. So the owl doesn't actually have like its own palette, but you can say, if you like the leopard one, you can get the owl put on as the actual cover. And so uh, you do have the option to do that. That is exclusive to the Hourglass site. And I do have a 10% off code on the Hourglass site. It's Michelle 10. I'll flash it up on the screen. I'll have it down below in my description box. Yeah, so definitely take advantage of that. And apologies again, but let's get on with the rest of the video. So why don't we go ahead and start with uh, just some setting powder, which I know all of the powders, um, from Hourglass are referred to as finishing powders, and they they work well as finishing powders, but I really like like their Diffuse Light Powder. I really like that as uh, a setting powder, especially underneath my eyes, and that's this one up here. So Ethereal Light, Diffuse Light. Diffuse Light has, if you can't see it through the video, um, has a little bit more of like a yellow uh, kind of tinge to it. Ethereal Light is just a very like white kind of powder. Uh, creamy white kind of powder. So I'm gonna use the brand new, I'm so excited, the brand new travel powder brush, and I'm gonna dip into diffused light. Oh, and in case you're curious, and of course I'll list this down below, and there's that products pop up now or whatever, um, I have the Hourglass um, Veil Hydrating Skin Tint on in the shade number five. So that's what I have like applied pretty lightly all over my face, and then um, I have my Surat Beauty Dew Drop Concealer in shade number three. I have that like around my eyes and around my nose. So that's all I have on, which is why I wanna put some powder on. Also because, like I just said, I am sweating because it's so hot in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna just dab that underneath my eyes. Such a beautiful, beautiful setting powder. I'm gonna put some around my nose and then lightly dust some on my cheeks where I'm gonna be putting on these products. All right, so I'm gonna start with bronzer and I am gonna start with this new Lunar Bronze in the Jellyfish palette because uh, this is new, so I definitely wanna try it. And it is also uh, probably the, the, the shade that is like light skin tone friendly. So I'm gonna use, I guess I could use this brush again yeah, I'm gonna use this brush again. I don't think I have much of that diffuse light left on this brush. I'm gonna dip into Lunar Bronze. This brush is a little bit big for these pans, so I'm just kind of squeezing the bristles together and just tapping it into the product. Dust this all over, so hopefully you guys get a good sense of it on my skin tone. All right, so there is Lunar Bronze. It is very, very appropriate for my skin tone. I don't feel like I look too overly bronzed or anything. I'm trying to get a sense of the tone. I think it's just a touch on the warm side, which is great for a bronzer. I don't know if I would strictly contour with this, but it's really great. Like I like, I like it over like my freckle zone. Yeah, really pretty. So that is Lunar Bronze. Let's move over to the Snake Palette and try one of these 
blushes. So you guys, I'm so tempted to try this. I just don't know if it's gonna work for me. I think I'm really intrigued by this one too, which is called Mystic Flush. This is also a new shade. So I think I'll try and lightly dust this all over. Maybe I'll use this one, which is, it's actually a straw powder, uh, which is like a highlighter in hourglass language. And maybe I'll put that on my cheeks or something. Okay, let's start with this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, just thinking out loud. Um, this brush is now dirty, so I'm gonna move on to a different brush. I'm gonna use my Westman Atelier uh, powder brush. This is a great blush brush. And go into this Mystic Flush and just, wow, very pigmented, but I would say that's very consistent with Hourglass. All of the blushes <laughs> that I've used from Hourglass are very pigmented, so you have to be careful unless you like a strong cheek, but that was just one dab, wow. I mean, again, this is the palette that I think is for deeper skin tones, so yeah, it should be very bold on my skin tone. <laughs> Yeah, that is that is a bold blush. Really pretty tone. Okay, I think I think it may be too much to add this straw powder on. I'll have to try it in another video. The one new product in the Leopard palette is a blush, is this guy right here. And then in the Jellyfish palette, we do actually have a new straw powder up there, which I should use, but I didn't use anything from the leopard palette. Well, that's okay, since most of them are repromotes. <laughs> so let's go back to the jellyfish palette, and then I'm gonna use this opal strobe light powder as highlight. I'm gonna use this BK Beauty 112 brush. It's like this mini angled brush. It's perfect for highlighting. And I'm gonna go into opal strobe light. Ooh, the metallic strobe light, is that the full name? Metallic straw powders from Hourglass are extremely reflective, like really, really high shine. So, <laughs> so again, much like the blush, unless you like a really, really strong highlight, I would be very careful. I would uh, buff out uh, after applying, unless, again, unless you like this. I'm gonna take my Sony G Face Pro brush and just kind of buff that out a little bit, just so I don't have like a streak. Yeah, that seems a little bit more even. But that's the opal, and I don't know if you can tell through the monitor, but this has, well, you know what? You can see it actually in the pan. So it's marbled with this kind of like cool nude slash mauve shade, and that's like the tone that you're getting in this. So there's that really high shine, which is fairly neutral, and then you have this kind of cool undertone, which is kind of clashing with this blush, but that's okay. But that is the opal um, strobe light. I'm just gonna add it to this cheek and buff out. I mean, I put the smallest amount on. I don't even know how they do it. This is like a really intense, <laughs> intense shine. It's pretty incredible. I thought maybe I should use some of these palettes as eyeshadow, especially the snake one, because I can't really use it on my face, but maybe it'll make a great eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna use this bronze. Let's try that. I'm gonna use a fluffy blender brush. I've got my refer number seven brush. And again, I'm gonna go into that bronze and see how this looks. Well, at least now you get a sense of that bronze. It has a really rich red undertone, which is beautiful. For bronzer, it's really beautiful. For eyeshadow, I'm not sure if I wanted something so red tone. <laughs> okay, well, there's the bronzer from the Snake palette on. Let's try the Leopard palette, since I didn't really use this one. Maybe I can use the um, Dim Light powder? because that definitely looks deeper than my skin tone. Let me use a fresh brush. This is another reference. This is actually one of their prototype brushes, but it's like a fluffy blender. Oh, what a pretty nude shade. Wow. That is a great eyeshadow. Probably like the last person on earth to realize this. That's beautiful though. And it's a very neutral shade. So it goes well with this warm color, but I can imagine it would go well with like a cooler shade too. Okay, dim light. I don't know, I 
deal. That's a really pretty neutral eyeshadow on me. All right. And then I'm just gonna use the bronzer in this leopard palette, which is Lustrous Bronze Light. Uh, I'm just gonna use the same brush. This bronzer seems to have more of like a yellow undertone. I wonder how this will play. Oh, it actually blends the two together nicely. You know, this is definitely one of the pros to the Hourglass um, powders, products, because they're so pigmented. Even though they're meant for the face, you can definitely use them on the eyes because most products for the cheeks are a lot less pigmented than eyeshadows. And so you have to use a ton of products. Sometimes they just don't, they don't have enough of a punch. Uh, but yeah, the Hourglass, <laughs> Hourglass products definitely do. Oh, I really like my eye look. Okay, unexpected. All right, just curling my lashes. I'm gonna throw on the, I just had it. Oh, the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. Instant Extensions Mascara. Yes, this is the Hourglass Mascara I really like. There was another one that I tried and it was, I think more for volumizing, I can't remember the name. And volumizing mascaras don't work great on me, but the lengthening ones do. Yeah, this one is a great one. And then the Hourglass Eyeliner. This is the Voyeur Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in Cave. I've been using this pretty much nonstop since I got it. It's so good, it never smudges. That's so great. Okay, and now I'm gonna use one of the um, glossy, glossy bombs here, Rise. I think this one was my favorite. Yeah, let's use Rise. This one is one of the deep, they're all like very lightly tinted. So when I say it's like a, the deeper one out of the ones that I kept, it's still not very deep at all, but here's Rise, very neutral shade. A little on the cool side. But you see what I mean? Like super lightly tinted. It really feels like a lip mask and it like slowly kind of moisturizes your lips. It's amazing. It does have a little bit of, like a teeny bit of mintiness, which I'm not a fan of, but it is very, very slight. And in fact, I remember when I first got those and I was swatching them, I don't think I even realized until like maybe the fourth or fifth swatch, I was like, wait, do some of these have them and some of them don't? I think they all have them. It's just that it takes a little while to actually to actually feel it. Anyway, so that is the overview of these Hourglass palettes. I really, really like the Snake palette. I think it's, you know, the most unique. And again, I just love the fact that there's five new shades in here out of the six. I think that's awesome. Jellyfish is probably, if I was just a straight up consumer who <laughs> didn't do YouTube for a living and I wanted to run out and get one, I would probably pick up Jellyfish for my skin tone. I think it works the best. But I do like the idea, like if you just love these palettes and you love the covers and everything, maybe um, pick up one of these and use them as eyeshadow because they do work really well. All right guys, so that is it. And I'm gonna stop filming now because I cannot stop sweating. This was quite the day to decide to wear my hair down. <laughs> because if you guys haven't noticed, I've been wearing my hair back and up a lot and mainly because it's just hot here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative. That's it, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.